Hi, and welcome to our adding and importing contacts tutorial video. Before we begin, please note that a one-time import certification will need to be completed to activate the importing feature. The import certification simply asks for your business information, how contacts are collected, and what type of messages you are sending. This is to ensure that your imported contacts have agreed to receive messages and aren't receiving any unwanted messages. Please contact our support team if you have any questions. Now let's get started. This video will show you how to import contact information from external sources. If you wish to collect contacts using mobile keywords or online sign-up forms, please view our videos in the Learning Center. Once you are logged in, hover your mouse over Collect and click on Add or Import Contacts. Here you will be able to add individual contacts or import a list of contacts. The first section of this page is a contact form that can be filled out to add contacts. Simply enter their name, email, mobile number, and any custom data fields you want to include in their contact profile. At the bottom of the page, you can select which distribution list you want to import your contacts to. Select one or more distribution lists and click Import Contacts. A pop-up will appear giving you information about current regulations and anti-spam policy. Please read carefully, then check to agree and click Continue. Next, we tell the system how we want to handle invalid contact records. If there's a typo in one of the fields in the record, do you want to import what is valid or discard the entire record? For existing contacts, do you want to overwrite the record or discard any duplicates? In most cases, you will want to leave it at the default values which will import any valid contact and update any existing contact. Next, select the file you want to upload. In the picture, here you will see a column for each type of data you are uploading. Have a column for first name, last name, mobile number, email address, and any other data field. For mobile numbers, they must be in a 10-digit format with no parentheses, spaces, or dashes. The columns do not have to be ordered in any way, as you will see in the next step. After uploading the file, you will tell the system how your Excel file is ordered. If you have column headers, they will appear in the CSV column. In this example, we have first name, which matches with the field first name, so click Add. Last name matches the field last name, mobile matches the field mobile text number, and so on. Click Add each time to add that column to the map. Once you are done, click Import. A notification will appear and you will decide if you want to send text and voice broadcast or just text only. If you select Voice and SMS, a verification text will be sent to the mobile number. If you choose SMS only, no verification is needed. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the step-by-step -step process of adding and importing contacts into our system. This is a very important feature because it ensures that your messages comply with industry regulations. If you have any questions, please contact our support team. That concludes our tutorial video for today. Thanks for watching.